Hello and welcome to This Is. Are you ready to go to Lowe's? Yep, I am. No, not at all, because today we got <laughs> Home Depot Tech. <laughs> if you've kept our series on tech, you probably shouldn't buy tech from places. I don't know why the book is so funny. I it's, just wasn't expecting it. We've looked at tech from <laughs> convenience stores, from dollar stores, and now we're looking at our good old friends at Home Depot. So uh, do I just open up things from the bucket? Yeah, the we'll, get you, we'll get you the bucket. Okay. You, got, you can have the bucket. Okay. Number one, we have 14 in one switch accessories pack from Home Depot. <laughs> 14 in one accessories pack, which seems like it's Joy-Con charger, USB, carrying case, Joy-Con sleeves, screen protector. They're a little uh, liberal with their use of 14, 14 in one. Yeah. I think there's like four things in here. All right, well, we got a carrying case. It actually seems fairly decent. I believe I have that exact same. Ah! Okay, let's, let's count them. So we have a lanyard, a dust absorber sticker, a bunch of little Joy-Con nubbins, a crappy headset, wipes for your screen protector, so I, screen protector, and uh, an S place to put your Joy Cons, Switch, and your games. Joy Con sleeves, a USB A to C cable, chargers, the charger for your Joy Cons, and that's it. I count 10. But okay, did you count these twice? Because there's wipes one and wipes two. Oh, no, you know what they do? They count this as six. This is six of our accessories. It's just each individual <laughs> thumb thing. This is, How much did you spend on this? This is uh, $23.57. Nothing about this is unique to Home Depot in any way whatsoever. Did you think this was going to be unique to Home Depot? Yeah, I want Home I Depot got pick. the bucket. What more do you want from me? I'm just going to uh, use my thumb grips to get a stronger feeling while using the controller. And I'm going to have a stronger feeling about the fine items of tech at Home Depot. Just like you can have a stronger feeling on that subscribe button. I can guarantee you that it's tactile, clicky, and will give you all the aural bliss your heart could desire when you ring-a-ling that ding -a -ling So button. proud of you for using aural right. Let's move on to the next one. We're just going to power through these. Go ahead and, and take something out of the bucket of wonder. Okay. <laughs> oh, no! This thing! I own one of these! <laughs> Oh, he's so squishy! Oh my god! Yeah, let's go to Cozy and get the get the mood going here. Mm. Oh, oh, oh that's But then the you got kind of. He's not giggling though. Wait. I regret buying this as a gift now. How much did you pay for this? $22.97. Here we have this, this next bucket. It is a MacBook Pro charger with magnetic USB-C cable. So it's a stylish aluminum silver design to match a 12 inch MacBook and 13 to 15 inch MacBook Pro with USB-C. This is actually a lot more tech than I thought was actually on some people. I, I, what, I'm impressed, I'm impressed. That's the beauty of this series is we're letting you know where the really, really good places to get tech is. Well, let's not say really, really good. Let's just say the places to get tech. My favorite part about this item is it looks like a tiny little Mac Pro. Oh my God. It's I a love little it. cheese grater. I love it. Okay. I will say that immediately I'm disappointed that I thought there's only a single USB-C on this. Yeah. It does have MagSafe light capabilities. Do you want to grab the end? Oh. oh. No. Let's listen. Ooh. That was good. So I'm going to plug it into one of my USB-C ports. Okay. It is charging. Uh, it shows it as a 60 watt charger. Well, that's exactly what it's advertising. Whoops. Wait, it stopped working. Nope. It's not charging anymore. I think it's directional. Is it really? Oh, you're right. It only goes on one way. <laughs> How much was this? 6447. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Look, it's adorable. This would have been cool in 2017 for a tech under $100 video, but it's uh -huh. 2023. Those aren't cool anymore. The cool thing is just to clickbait people. So you're feeling pretty tech, right? Is tech an emotion? Yeah, you're feeling pretty tech right now. Next up, we have something I think you're really gonna like. I hope so, because Matt, I'm highly sus with this Home Depot stuff. Okay, Here we have. You weren't kidding, there are a lot of buckets. <laughs> a bucket of keyboards. So inside we have not one, 
Not two, not three, <laughs> not four, but five membrane keyboards and... Is there an infestation in here? Cause that's a lot of mice. So Matt, did you go on Home Depot and buy a five pack mouse keyboard combo? I did. Just for the reference. <laughs> wait, wait, listen to this. Listen to the space bar. That should be prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law. So I'm guessing that this is sold to like contractors or something who are like loading up a bunch of basic like server closets or whatever. And you just need a bunch of like random mice and keyboard. Or maybe you're working on an office because you hate your employees and you give them no respect. You're just gonna throw the cheapest keyboard and mouse you possibly can on their desk. Also, wait, I just realized, what the f <laughs> is this layout? Why is there a function key beside my shift? Matt, please make me feel better. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> These should be like, Maybe 15 bucks each. How much was the five pack? 79.90. Can I clear these out of the way? No, cause, like I know how much you're a fan of the bucket of keyboards. Huge fan. So what if I got you another bucket of keyboards? This time in white. <laughs> We've got not one, not two, not three, not four, but five more keyboards and a whole Bunch more mice. I don't see Best Buy. I don't see Micro Center selling you two buckets of keyboards and mice. Matt, if you pull out one more bucket of keyboards, I'm. Excuse me, I'm just fanning myself with all these keyboards. <laughs> Should I just give you my credit card now? Depends. Is there another bucket of keyboards? There is not another bucket okay, of keyboards. Okay, then we're good. We're good. We're There's good. Not I got you this. Two buckets of, it's one for each hand. Do you see the, I give him gifts. I try and, and get good things for him. So you're feeling pretty great with the, on the keyboard side of things. That's not the word I'd use. But what about your mice? You got plenty in that one, but what if you want a different type of mouse? If you can give me a mouse trap, that would be very helpful right now. So I could just put my finger in there and have an excuse to be done with this video. Okay, so we've got a wearable pointing device mouse from Golmu Tree. This is from Home Depot. <laughs> Home Depot. So this is a wearable pointing device. Right, right. So just do this and it's like here. Yeah. Just like, <laughs> oh, that's not what you point with. I think you wear it like this. And then it's you like swipe it's on little, it. Yeah, I think a so little. Too. You swipe. I'm gonna swipe right on my on my finger pointer. This is actually kind of comfortable. Con well, considering what it is, it's uh, apparently made in Korea, so you know it's it's gonna be high quality. The product may be damaged or the human body may be injured. Do you want to do laptop or you want to do a phone? This here is manufactured in North Korea. <laughs> Comes with a little pouch. Ooh, I don't like the way this feels. Oh, oh, feel that. This micro USB port might be the worst micro USB port I've ever felt. That just is not going well. If I had a nickel, man. Boy, that mouse cursor is so slow. So slow. Wow. How much was this little uh, clicker boy? $75.99. I spent $75 on this? Yeah. Matt, I would pay $3 on Wish. I, why did I do that? Oh, yeah, this is not fun to use. It's not good. It's not good. So here's the thing. Uh, this is not the actual worst idea I've ever seen, but you should not buy it from Home Depot and you should not spend anywhere near $74 on it. You win some, you lose some. So far, everything we've had has been complete winners. So it's okay to have one L in the column. What? A seven inch Bluetooth DVD boom box. Do you want to relive the 80s and the 2000s all in one? Naxa, the new generation of technology. Seven inch Bluetooth DVD boom box. It is a 800 by 480 display and we need eight C size batteries, not included. I feel like this is on sale at every uh, Target at Christmas. Never seen this in my life. Oh, it's got a, it's got a fun dongle. You're a big dongle boy. Wait. Sorry. Uh, what do you, what do you, oh, you, oh, he's doing a thing and, oh God. Then, oh, I'm, I'm downwind of this. Do you want, you want help? It's good, I got it. <laughs> look at how, look how dope this looks. And then also we have what looks to be a terrible screen protector. Oh my God, is that, that's broken, isn't it? 
It looks broken. We're gonna peel off that screen protector, but that looks broken, right? I mean, it is heavily scratched and scuffed, but I don't think it's broken. All right. Wow. What? Why did... Carcinogens, not good. We can't play any of this. So looking through our endless storerooms, uh, here's what I came up for, for a DVD to watch on this. A VHS copy of Ghostbusters. Not a DVD. HD DVD of March of the Penguins. Yep, that's, we own that, that's a thing. A HD uh, Ultra DVD, 4K Blu-ray. Blu Unfortunately, um, <laughs> the actual DVD is missing. So we have the Blu-ray. Okay. So the only DVD that I was able to find in all of our stuff uh -huh. is this sealed let's go blu-ray copy of shrek anniversary edition that does include the dvd and i'll be honest i'm 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 hesitant to break the seal on this because i'm pretty sure this is worth nine thousand dollars you know what shrek is timeless and priceless let's do it <laughs> all right wait actually does this sound not terrible oh is it like she's playing the movie right now Awesome, we're about to get a copyright strike. Luckily, I have a way to fix this. Okay. Tim Burton's The Nightmare Before Christmas wireless headset. Wow. So now we can watch our movie without having copyright strikes. No. Never watched uh, Nightmare Before Christmas. Clearly you didn't shop at Hot Topic and we may or may not have gotten some tech coming from Hot Topic. So keep an eye out for that video. This may or may not have also been at Hot Topic, but <laughs> since I got it from Home Depot, you can't, can't double dip. I do struggle a little bit with like who should buy a portable DVD Bluetooth boombox. Why Why not? What, 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 who shouldn't buy it? I feel like that's how we should answer, ask these questions. It's not who should, who shouldn't buy it. I mean, do you have a phone? That's probably better. The volume? Pizza. Yeah, not comfortable. Oh, these are like blown out. Pizza. Yeah, listen, listen to those. It's not good. Pizza. It's really quiet. Yeah, and keep in mind, this is uh, full volume. It doesn't sound good. It no, sounds very bad. How much, okay, how much was all of this nonsense? Because this, I know, is too expensive. So the DVD box is 160. The headphones are 50. These headphones are not good, bad. Speaking of bad, like, subscribe, follow, and we'll catch That's you in the, the next the video? one. If you want a bucket full of keyboards, check out the link in the description. Don't do that. And Don't we'll catch that. you in the next one. Don't buy a bucket of keyboards, please. Bum 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 Thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Really appreciate you watching this video. Please subscribe to the channel.